I got a phone call from Kelly Bird. He's the team manager of Lakai. And he told me that my new samples for my shoe came in. We've been working on it for a couple months, and they've been a little funky, some of the samples. So he called me up and told me that the final sample was in there, and I should come check it out. So I went. No, no BD. Hey. I need to buy stocks. You get the maximum of this guy. I want to buy <laughs> stocks of my. You should be on Wall Street. Mike Mocapaldi stock. Yeah, SPF. Let's do it. <laughs> Basically, I wanted my shoe just to be like a pointy toe cap. I wanted a clean toe. Like, I kind of wanted like a fake vulcanized look to it. Because, you know, all the kids love the vulcanized now. But I hate how vulcanized skate because they're too thin because they hurt when I jump down stuff. It's good. How's the shoe? It's good. It's, it's skating good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to try those new, the new version. Like them? What's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just basic, you know, like a basic, clean shoe. And I wanted like flexible sole, you know, like I wanted it to last. Dude, look how much better they look, bro. Are these tens? Yeah. Yes, dude, thank God. Seeing the finished product and seeing everything, all the details that I asked for and seeing it like as high as I wanted everything. You see that? You see that big bulge? You see how much smaller that is? Thinner and the heights on the back. Yeah, it looks way better. Yeah. Turned out exactly how I wanted it. It's perfect, I think. Like, if this is like the actual, like, final version, I'd be psyched. Yeah. To see, like, all my ideas in one shoe, like, awesome. That's what I wanted, and they made it happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since there's not that many spots in Simi, it's like we kind of have to build our own spots or like create our own little obstacles, you know? Mikey Taylor built a ledge down the street from my house. So we call it the wash ledge. You go down this big ladder and it's just perfectly smooth ground with like all these walls, everybody tags on them and stuff. Basically, when we get the chance to have somewhere to skate, we're gonna skate there all the time. One more trick and I have the whole rotation. I got, what's it called? I got a cycle. Rick Howard gives me a phone call. He's like telling me, he's like, oh, we just put that new, like, we put that San Marcos rail in a girl. The one I broke my wrist on? And he's like, yeah, we got that one at the girl park. We just installed it. It's been six years since I broke my wrist on that thing. So I'm like, I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go 50-50 that thing. I don't even mean to make this dramatic or anything, but I'm like staring down, I'm like, you know what, I'm doing it today. I'm, it's been six years. I have a lot more control than I did when I was 13 years old. I'm gonna do this, you know, like, I'm gonna 50-50 this thing. I was like super nervous, I was like scared, and I was just like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it. Like, I have to do it, it's been six years. So I warmed up with a couple like board slides. I board slid it a couple times, like front side board slid it, lip slid it, and like do the normal tricks I'll do, but for some reason I'll never 50-50 a handrail, just because I'm terrified. Skate handrails. Can I try it on the go? 
How is it? How does it feel fighting the demons? Scary. It kind of feels like how a roller coaster feels, you know, when you're going up to, like the the incline of the roller coaster, and it's like da My heart beats like that when I before like 50 feeling a handrail. Yeah, I 50 50 it. I did it. Conquered it. You know what? That whatever handrail, I 50 50 you. I feel like I did a real trick. I'm sorry for doubting you, dude. I feel like I did a real trick. Now what? What's next? I'm going straight to El Toro. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did a first try, and uh, that 50 50 like gave me so much confidence. For me, I had to break that barrier of 50-50 in it. That was hard for me. You know, I did it, so I, I would say the fear has gone away a little bit. That was my first hand. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I also want to say this whole entire first hand I did, it's not about like what I did or how I did it or whatever. I just want to show that I had fun doing it. I'm not trying to do like all the gnarly stuff all the time. I'm not trying to be like the best dude out there. I'm just trying to have fun. And that's what skateboarding is. That's all I want to do.